I don't know about y'all, but I'm starting to think this golden idol might not be such a good thing. Everyone's talking about this golden idol. I'm starting to think maybe it's not the best. Maybe we should. I'm starting to think maybe we should not be doing it. Do maybe we should not do this with this thing. Golden idol, more like golden the devil. That is, it. Uh, it. Me, uh, you know what I mean? I, I'm just saying, I've read the Bible people, cover to cover. People always praising the golden idol, but the golden idol, it's in here. People always, kids these days, yeah, they all they care about is the golden idol. But back in my day, we cared about the American Idol, Kelly Chloe Clarkson. <laughs> golden, golden Isle. The only Golden Isle I respect is the Golden Ball Award that's given to the soccer player, the best, the um, the, the best, the, the good, best, the best, the, the good, best, the best. When they're the good Golden Idol. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Back when I was a uh, um, a boy, uh, we didn't have a golden idol. You know what we had? What we had a, a, a we had um, the the old the olden idol. Oh my god! Yeah. And now they just want the golden idol. Yeah. Did you have that on a twenty CD set? The golden idols. The it's gold, all the, the greatest golden, hits. We had all the, we had the golden oldies, and now they just want the golden idols. It wasn't good enough. Camera's facing now. The wrong now way. all the all now, now all these kids know is idols. What happened to uh, is idol culture these days? We're in the era. We're in the age of golden idols. We're in the golden age of idols. What happened to the Golden oldies. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do y'all think about this, about that bit? Yeah, what do you think about that? Can I get a rating on a scale from 1 to 10 about how much you enjoyed the bit? I want to get some viewer feedback. Yeah. So that we can... You know, we can take it into account for three out of ten. That's fair. Yeah, negative one, uh, we'll solid see. ten. If you go outside the scale, you're skewing the data. Yeah, is the problem. We got a twelve out of twenty. I'm not really sure what that means. That's like a six That's point a six five out of ten. That's a solid. Six. Twelve out of twenty is a six out of ten. Six point. If you five. reduce the fraction, Julia. <laughs> point five points for style. <laughs> People were saying that there's a little bit of math you have to do in these like final cases of the Golden Idol. I love math. So I'm a little worried. I love math. When you take the numbers, first of all, you show me one number, I'm already getting hyped. Kids I'm already sees... getting sweaty and excited. Okay. And then you give me another number, I'm the hype is doubled. I'm getting so psyched. But then... You put a little symbol in between the numbers that tells me what to do with them. I'm freaking losing it. Jacob. I'm going nuts. Jacob. Kids these days. Yeah. They're all about sins. You know, I write about sins, not tragedy, whatever. Yeah. They, they love to sin. Uh... But, but you love sign. Is that? But what you're I love at? sign. I was gonna say to quote <laughs> <laughs> to quote a famous philosopher. Um, this hell is better with you. Uh, that's what all the kids are saying to each other. How about we skip the sin and we go to the signs, the the M Night Shyamalan signs. Kids these days are all about sins and cosins. 
It's when they sin together. Yeah. But I'm about sine and cosine. Kit. I was in the geometry class doing sines and cosines while you were out there doing sins and cosines. I write about signs, not sins. I'm going to read the subs. Because <laughs> we should have a lot. We should have a lot after that. Yeah, after that really good intro. So I'm expecting to be reading for a long time on this one. I write Sins Not Tragedies is from 17 years ago. Yes, yeah, still not writing about sins or tragedies. What? We got subs from Smack and Cheese, Ooh. Rye Morel. It keeps refreshing. Tell your cat, pss, pss, pss. Blarg, I'm a zombie. Jester the Cleric. Joe Crazy Face. Resident Goblin. The Onceler is real. Count Creature. Read Marks, damn it. Mathematical Gay. Hedge Wild. Cool Nice Evan. Kim Squonk. Holiday Eyes. Fire Smythe. <laughs> Dr. Mollusk. Swabbinsworth. Rachel Coon Art. Blue Like the Clues. Vexen. Two Kitties in a Trench Coat. Tenor 2.0. Kate Kate. Opia, Madelieu, Self-Destructive Cat, Real Lord Gwen Vivo, Baker Street Babe 98 gave out five gifted subs, Andromeda Cal Galaxy Cat, Twinkle a Twinkle a no, Twinkle a Dinkicus, Gooch with the Fur, wow. Moo Gerald, The Bop City, Tiny Kendra, Pineapple Skulls, Dune Philosophy, Mega Diptes 412, Revocador, The Vibrarian, Velveteens, Velveta's Mom, Coffee Vamp, Procrastocrafting, Ryan Morel gave out two subs, Lost Without Pockets, The Great Hohenheim 95, TP the Disastrogator, Find Sunny Day, Libraheart. Small Time Cat Crime, It's Spooky Kabuki, Surge Skunk, Funky Fresh Cora, One Fat Badger, Faye Traveler, League Nuyella, Vincent Price, Lavender Go 0410, Against Hope, Princess Ring Pop, Mountain Cow Lily, Miss Raisin King, Mix Morganic, Anna Plays Video Games, Moo Gerald gave out five gifted subs, Andrew's Cool 89. <laughs> you motherfucker, I'm gonna find you. <laughs> I'm going to find you and I'm coming for you. It's you in the past. You take my name, my own name that I copyrighted. My God. Only I am Andrew's cool 89. <laughs> Rip Gina, the Futbucker, Skinora 75, the Bird King B, Court Tempered, Two Chairs, Two Beers, Bubble Blowing Booba, Twixted Spoon gave out five gifted subs. Thank you. Penguin Poetry, Matt Crocodile, Gay Dread Knight, Blue Bee Glorby, Quiche Cow, Puppy Pwabs gave out five gifted subs. Thank you. Tansmit Mirror Bit. That's definitely a different language. It's like German or some shit. Tansmit Mirror Bitte. Yeah, definitely Bitte, right? Spicy Batch, Tibots, Titan 475, Bex Machina Art, Tigerus Lilifus. The Ocean in Motion. Hauko Hauko, Professor Rad gave out five gifted subs. Thank you. Mike Eagle Dick. Fred McTaker, the first evil 666, Transmutation. Baker Street Babe 98 gave out five gifted subs. Thank you. Mir Malia, Marrow Tooth, Valana, the Antoine 03, Fairy Orb, Cardboard Spaceship, Woodshop Grandpa, Wagon Full of Pancakes, and Change My Name to Mr. Jacob. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the subs. What are you doing with it? Thank you. I knew she wasn't going to run for it. She brought a spring. I just don't know where it went. She never runs for it. Um, I forgot to tell you some very fun news. What's that? My brother texted me. Oh, that is fun. Earlier today. Nice. While you were away, Jacob went out today. I did not because I slept bad and got sad. 
Yeah, that'll happen. Sleep bad, get sad. Anyway, my you make a shirt that says "Sleep bad, get sad." Oh yeah, I <laughs> should. Um. So anyway, so my niece, uh, he taught my niece how to say, how to um, <laughs> to, to, he taught her to go up to people and shake their hands and say, "Pleased to meet you." Like a business deal. So now she's going up to people and going, pleased to meet you. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so cute. It's <laughs> cracking me up. She's very funny. She's That's like, a good That's a good niece. She's one and a half. That's a good niece. It's very good. Mwah. Mwah. Excellent niece. Maybe I will design that shirt. Who knows? Uh, let's get into the game. We got 15 minutes until the ads, the first ads run. Your headphones aren't plugged up. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How could this have happened? Someone is going to get reprimanded for this. I'm going to find out who's responsible mm -hmm. and someone's going to be reprimanded. Earlier today, I was looking at an old VOD of me and Jacob, and it was while we were playing Mario Party, and people were so mad that I hate Princess Peach, and they were like, don't hate Princess Peach, hate the writing of Princess Peach, and I was like... <laughs> That's all Princess Peach is. <laughs> Princess Peach ain't real. You can't go to her house. I'm not attacking her as a real human. You can't separate the actor from the performance. <laughs> from the role. <laughs> Princess Peach sucks. I'm not saying the voice actress sucks. She's fine. She's just polygons. It's She's just, just the Nintendo made. People, people, people were so mad at me. <laughs> they were like, someone said, no, Princess Peach is actually really good. She just keeps um, being written poorly in situations. And I was like, that's all she is. That's all she. She doesn't have a life outside of. That's all she is, dog. Anyway, it was very funny. Hi, Olive. Olive. Hello, Olive. Olive's here. Thank you for coming. Olive has a little bald spot. You can kind of see it. What? No. <laughs> Come on. Are you ready? Are she you wants ready? She to be in your lap. Are you ready? You're going to do the thing? Get her in the headlock? <laughs> 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 she always looks so like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time she cracks me up because she keeps coming back yeah all right let's play the game okay so we have like two two chapterinos one chapterino left no two chapterinos left we started this one that's right we were gathering clues yeah we were at this one where all these men were on trial for like having oh wait <laughs> Find him, find him. There he is. Julia texted a photo of this gnome to Nathan so many times. Even today, I texted him and I said, important news. And I just sent this to him and he has not responded. And it's been hours. Nathan left her on red. <laughs> if you look back through our Discord messages and our text conversation, it's this picture of this gnome for like 20 messages. Yeah. All from me. Just an endless scroll. <laughs> except except when we went to Anime NYC, Nathan was running a little late, but he didn't let us know. So I was worried that Nathan got lost in the big city or something. And um, if you look at the text messages, it's all of these gnomes, all of this gnome again and again and again. And then where are you? <laughs> <laughs> The gnome wants to know your location. Okay, so we're going to have to re-learn everything. Oh, absolutely everything. Because we... So we know that... The oh first my, virtue, I remember where it is. God. Dude. No, wait. It's right there. No. Okay. The first virtue... Remember, this, the, the, that's the third is don't be the, the dressed donkey. Yeah. The second one is don't be the sleeping pig. Yeah. The first, I think we can infer that from someone's uh, crim. Yes. 
This was the guy who spent the night with wives. This one flirted. Everyone was flirting with married women. I remember this. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the second virtue is all the things that are in here. Well, they're in the second container. Oh, right. So this one. Brandy, okay. opium. So it's got to be like drinking, drugging. Yeah. Drinking or drugging. So the first virtue Moderation. is bones. You think it's moderation? Probably. It That's, wasn't bones. Or indul indulgence wouldn't be a virtue. That's what you want to not do. Yeah, moderation, excessive, excessive indulgence. Indulgence. Is there like drinking? In excessive bones. Lust. Excessive emotions might be one. Maybe. Let's see, what's... Is it money? It's got some wings. Like levity? Excessive, or the, but the virtue would be perhaps diligence. Don't know, diligence is definitely gonna be one of them. So this, this is fiction in here. Right. In three. Truth I is guess probably it's like, one of the virtues. Thank God tobacco is not considered an indulgence. So I think we have the first one correct. Yeah, I think the third virtue is truth. Too bad literature is forbidden. Uh, okay. Because that would be... The third virtue seems to be... Um, is this truth? Wait, which one was the, the scroll you were just... Or the, the fiction books? You were just the fiction at. books was the fourth one. Okay, I think this one is truth then. Yeah, this this is not truth. That is well to me. <laughs> to me, that is truth. Um. Okay. So, I mean, it seems to be that, like all literature. Yeah, and well, then lies could be in there as well. And then um, anything else, art? Well, art, I think, is in the third one. Vulgar art? Because that's Because that, that would be vulgar art. Because this is like music, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, art, music. Vulgar art, music, and fashion, probably. Oh, right, because the donkey. So the third. Oh, wait. Is, this, is the second one ver uh, diligence because I it think, was the pig that's asleep on his desk? Yeah, I think the second one is diligence. So that one would be like... Sloth will be punished. Yeah, mistakes, for sure. Um, and bones. And bones, yeah. Untidiness. Yeah, that seems, an untidy that seems pig. right. The third virtue is... You said you think it's like... Is it, oh, the third virtue is beauty, because that's the donkey yeah. that's dressed up. Yeah. So and what the, the hell is the fourth the one? The fourth one is... Um, truth, idol? Truth. Because then it's literature, lies, then bones. Bones. Idol? Uh, secrets, secrets, secrets. Secrets. It's the last one. Secrets. Look at that! Damn! Let's freaking go! That was, we nailed it! Freaking genius minds. Wow. The greatest minds. Okay, great. So, um, the punishment. We so, gotta figure out the, so the minus demerits are on those scrolls. Yeah, uh, oops. Wait, the books? The books, I mean, yeah. Books yeah. are just scrolls with pages. Because doesn't it, doesn't it say it's on some of these, which uh, the demerits they wait. got, they received? There we go. That's where it is. No, this is no. not. It says somewhere the demerits they've received. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So this guy, we have to do the math here. So he gets plus 10 merits. <laughs> and, and so he's lost two merits, right? Yeah. One merit for having a secret compartment and one merit for denying the existence of a secret compartment. So that's two lies. So that's lies. So it's one minus one for lying. So that's, how do I? You drag symbols from the left there. Oh, thank you. 
I didn't see this. Okay. So yes, one there. So these dudes. So we got to look at everyone's. Um, no. Everyone's like merits and demerits and dismerits. Yeah. I think they're on the the bodies of these men. These uh, go go away. From well, here. this one. Just look, oh, evaluate as plus fifteen has. merits. This one has. This one has I held a dinner party a few years ago. So, but what was his total? We don't know like his total. Yeah, can you click? Can you go out of here? No. Click on their them, because they have their books. Right. Okay. So he's got plus twelve. He's got minus eight. So twenty. Yeah, eight. So then drank a full bottle of of brandy. That's uh, indulgence. So and we, then kept the book. Yeah, so that's truth. Which we know is one. Which we know is one. So it's minus... Seven? Minus seven for indulgence? That seems exce that, that seems like a little excessive to that's me. That's an indulgence. I think hey. we're indulging in demerits here, frankly. Yeah, let's double check that math. Uh, yeah, eight. If we know that this is one... Oh, if we know that this is one, then this is... Yeah, seven. Okay. Slapped a sergeant in anger. What the hell is it? What was that one? It's like that Oasis song. Is it this? Song. Is it this? Don't slap back in anger. Mm. Emotions. Yeah, it'd be excessive emotions. Okay, so we know that that's seven. So that one is seven, and then the marching music. So he has a thing of nine. Yeah, Negative so it's going to be three for the music. Minus three for the music. Well, this I mean is two. Yeah, seven. Two yeah. is the new three. Two is the new three. For music. Music. Thank you. So then what's the last one? Who has, is it this guy? No, he's got the. He can't get any demerits. That's right. He's the leader of Demeriton. Do we know who? It's got to be one of these books, right? No, because there's like no time. There's no. Holy shit. <laughs> Is it one of these dudes? Him. Labeled a protocol as being on Thursday, even though it was on Wednesday. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. Okay. Double length. And that would lunch be like break. idle his diligence. Yeah. Well, double length lunch break is, um, would that also be diligence? I, I don't know. Like I mean, sloth. he has, uh, it would be six. So it could be three, three each. Hey, the geniuses have logged on again and we're not logging off. We're not freaking logging off. Crushed it. Okay, so now we can do all these, which I think are the books. Right? Yes. So let's take a look at Fangor Quinn. Fangor Quinn. Claimed he had no wife, which is a lie. I'm assuming. Yeah, because broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger. Okay, so should I be like writing these numbers down? I have a phone. Okay. Claimed he had no wife. So what's what's lying? What's lying get you? One. Lying is one. So then has a painting depicting a naked person, a painting of a naked person, which I'm guessing is art, so that's three. Total. Yeah, total. Yeah, just tell me the amounts because I'm adding them up oh, as okay. we go. Broke his favorite wife's in anger. Just like that Oasis a seven. <laughs> Plus seven. Plus seven. Uh... Spending a night with his neighbor's wife. That's gonna be lust. Which is another seven. So minus 17. Okay, Walter Keen. Flirted three times with different married women during the party convention. So that's lust again, right? Yes, so that's seven. Seven. Uh, ridiculous headgear. The fashion is is two. Two. 
claimed he had not betrayed High Arbiter Lazarus during his ritual of uh, ascendance. So he lied. That's a lie. Which is one. Which is one. So we're at 10. Minus 10. Negative 10. Did I do something wrong? Claimed he had no wife. That's, that's a, a lie. lie. That's one. So that's one. Plus, uh, has a painting depicted. Uh, that's art two. So two. That's three altogether. Broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger. Wait, I have a thought. Three times. Do oh, we have so to do the three? three counts of flirtation. Yeah. Okay. So flirting, that's seven times three. Okay. Seven times three. Plus. Now we're in business. Uh, five counts of wearing ridiculous headgear. So plus 10. Plus 10. Claimed he had not betrayed. So that's lying. And then one lie. Plus one. 35? 35. Does, is uh, the other guy, do we, do we miss anything on him? Is it two? <laughs> because it's two bits? Everyone is saying 32 in chat. How do we get that wrong? You said 35 and my calculator said 35 too. What did we... Three times seven. Three times seven 21. is 20. One. Two times five is ten. So two times five is ten. Yeah, I think oh. I must have misclicked or something, and then you misclicked in your own brain. All right, well, whatever. Okay, Lothar. Held. Okay, so this is going to be out of fifteen. So fifteen minus. Got angry during the questioning and shouted, which I'm guessing is... Is excessive emotions. Excessive emotions. So 15 minus seven. Puts us at eight. Yeah. Held a dinner party a few years ago where you offered large amounts of wine. That's indulgence. So... That puts him at... One. At one. Do I have to put zero on? And a plus. And a plus. You're on your last merit, dude. You better be careful. Oh, the ads are running. Time to wait. <clears throat> I'm gonna get better at paying attention to that, I promise. I'm still not used to looking at it. But I feel like once I get accustomed to it, at least they run when they say they're gonna run. That's true. At this time. Yeah. So I don't have to like wait an extra three minutes wondering if wondering if they're gonna run. I wonder if we should save reading names and subs for when the ads run. When they auto run. Could do that. Could start doing that. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do Just that. Just change it all up. Julia has a cool shirt. Thank you. It's my crom shirt. It's a crom shirt. <laughs> it's good. What's my favorite Jeff Rosenstock song? I don't have one. I like too many of his songs to have a favorite. Jacob doesn't have like a favorite music thing. I like too much of it. It's like really hard. I feel like I would have to be like 
This is my favorite. The categories would have to get really small. Mm -hmm. Like this is my favorite hardcore album. This is my favorite folk album. My favorite, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I can't just be like, this is my favorite album. Because depending on my mood, it's it's different what it is. I get you. There's some things that I think I can I can always go to. Like I definitely have a favorite song, album, and band. But also, I don't listen to as much music as you. And it's always just like the music I can go to. That's always that I'm always like hell yeah. But I feel like I have so many of those. There's so many bands and albums I can go back to that I love. But there's just some that feel special. Uh, yeah, there's so many of those <laughs> that feel special. Fair. That's the problem. If there's so many that I go back to and I'm like, man, I love this shit, then I can't really, can't really pick. Resident Goblin, you played You Awaken in a Strange Place and had fun with your friends? That's awesome. Thank you for playing it. I'm always happy when people play the game. Should we go back into it? Yes. Okay. Left his work at the tannery early. We know that that's three. Uh, drank excessively. That's minus seven. So it's negative 10. So we're at negative 10. Uh, drank excessively again. That's negative 17. Approached a married woman with an indecent offer. That's negative 24. Yeah. Denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. So that's so lying. So four lies, so negative yeah. 28 total okay unless my math is wrong again it's not wrong this time baby and i did it in my head horace it's wind. this thing that's the problem not me oh god we're out of 200 all right so we'll just add these up and then we'll minus it yes yeah. uh has not held up okay so that's um 60 instances of non-work hold on three times 60 <laughs> So that's 180. Great. Minus 180. 180. Uh, claims he works in his castle. Um, that's, that's a, a lie. lie. So it's one. So 181. Minus 181. 15 books. Uh, 30. For that. What? 15 books is two each. Er, li literature is a fourth. Oh. Sorry, so I, thought one. I, I, I thought literature was art. That's How dare you. a little foolish on my part to think that. Of course, it's so, not. So, 196? <clears throat> uh, I lost count. 196. So, go for it. So, 200 minus 196. Positive 4. Great. All right, Gideon Bell. Uh, outrageous hairstyle. Two. Two. <laughs> Broke down in tears ten times. That's a 70. 70 so <laughs> minus 72. 72. Mm -hmm. That's five. Five times three, 15. 72 plus 15 is 87. 87. Rejected, blah, 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 request information. Uh, okay. So that's a lot. That's secret. Secret. So 88. Minus 88. Pretty bad, Gideon. That's why we love Gideon, though. Pretty bad. He's a bad boy. <laughs> you cried too much and you lost a lot of points on that. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, we're crushing. I'm gonna say four virtues yes. have passed. Yes, I'm with you. Four, oh, years? 
Is it? Oh yeah, four years have passed since the order party has seized is power. Is it four years? Oh, I don't know how many years it is. How do we, okay, hold on. Some years have passed. Surely that information is somewhere around here, right? <clears throat> yeah. How many years has it been? 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 Does that little note you have say how many years it's been? Doesn't say how many years it's been. Does it say on those posters? <clears throat> okay, wait, go back to that thing. This is the weekly tribunal number 42. So that's weeks. 42 weeks passed from 17, March 1795, puts us in 1794. <laughs> weeks? Yes. One, what? that's not even one year though. Let's just put one, that's one not years. That's gonna be one years. One years. It's been uh, acrylic geek. Thank you for rating us. We appreciate it. Thank uh, you. Thank you. We're solving puzz. Two bones have passed since order party has seized power during a tribunal. During a tribunal, blank blank is judged to have the largest merit deduction in all tribunal, tribunal history. history. I mean, wouldn't that be Gideon Bell? He's got the the low, the biggest. But <clears throat> is that who's dead right here? No, Gideon Bell's not dead. Is he? Well, because it says to execute his punishment, blank was oh, used on him. Is Gideon dead? Is that Gideon? But what about his hair? Did they freaking ageify Gideon? <clears throat> they put him on the beach that made him old. Never seen so many merits removed at a tribunal. Because Gideon's certainly not here, right? Yeah. Largest total deduction, not large, not lowest final score. Oh, which would be Lothar. Because Lothar had like 200 or whatever. Yeah. No, not Lothar. Horace Webb. Horace Webb. So is it Horace Webb? But he's still in the positives. Come on. You can't zap a, the life force out of a dude if he's still in the positives. Right? I guess so. You should have to dip into the negatives before they do that. To execute his punishment, blank. Idle. Idle was used on him and he lost blank blank. Is this years? No, the top thing has to be years. They could both be years, can't they? I guess that. 84 years. How the fuck am I supposed to know this? <sighs> I like the idea that you just used this thing and then shimmied into this room. Oh, 
1792. Oh, and now it's 1795. So three years have three passed. Three years have passed. All right. Okay. What else you kids got? Got some tobacco. Tobacco. Hmm. So we have to figure out how many years. Yeah. We're taken off of him or whatever. Extraction. So is that like years? Years is one merit point a year? Because that would be that would be a lot of years. Let's see, he had two hundred, he's left with one. But if it's if it's Gideon, then we know it's eighty eight years. But we think it's Horace Webb. But horse webs in the positives. Horse web for. And it would be triple digits if you don't have access to. Wouldn't it? So it's not horse web. Should we do Gideon? Let's try Gideon 88 years. Oh, we're fucking getting it. I was right to begin with. I was right to begin with. Good job, dude. The scroll has been fulfilled. The order party has seized power and now enforces the four maxims of virtue. The young Duke Gideon Bell was judged during the tribunal to have lost 88 merits. The high arbiter of the party, Lazarus Hurst, used the idol to decrease Gideon's youth by 88 years, thus making him 108, which resulted in his death. Damn, dude. You shouldn't have cried so many times, You shouldn't dog. have cried. You cried yourself to old age. He literally cried. Like, that was the vast majority of his demerits was crying. Yes. 70 years of his life the boy's was because emotional. he cried so much. I feel like if I cried once and then someone was like, I'm going to suck seven years out of your life every time you cry, I, was, I would dry up quick. I'd be like the Gobi Desert. <laughs> You're not getting any more tears out of me. But you know, like... When I try to express something under stress, you know that no matter what the emotion is, I cry. That would be my problem. I'd be Gideon. Yeah, but- I'd be mad and I'd be crying. But you never cry in front of people. True. So you would not, you'd be in no danger. You would go <laughs> completely stone. You'd be really good at this actually, because you would express <laughs> nothing. Yeah. And you would go completely stone faced. And they'd be like, we can't take any more demerits off of her. She's yeah. not indulging. She's not getting emotional. Yeah. On the inside, you would be. Yeah. I go back to my... You would stonewall them. I go back to my military training, my, my military upbringing, and I turn into a robot. Yeah. Into a, a doing robot. They wouldn't be able to, to get you on any charges. No, never. Okay. Chapter four, The New Order. The slight delay in the peaceful march to the king's castle. Oh my. What the heck is this? Hey, are there any Long Islanders in chat? Have y'all, Long Islanders, have you been to Old Bethpage Village? <laughs> this is what, this is what is, this is what this looks like. To me, like an aerial view of old Bethpage Village. What's new Bethpage up to? Bethpage is just like a very normal Long Island town. Oh, okay. And then old Bethpage is they moved well, all the colonial houses to one town. That's Bethpage. What about new Bethpage? Have they made that one yet? They haven't. So there's, they could still do something pretty good with it. That's true. <laughs> Thank you, 
Jump Drive Inc. who says, oh shit, wait, yeah, yeah, it is. Old Beth Page, good place to go during Christmas time. Oh my god. Yes, Comrade Lazarus has not yet returned for several hours. Comrades Alistair and James have gone to find him. If they do not return, we will organize more search parties to find the lost. So Lazarus is missing. Lazarus is missing. Mario is missing. I'm I'm going to assume that Alistair and James have probably killed him. Because no, no one just like goes missing in this game. Why would they do that? All right, we got a map. Black. This is the same map from the beginning. You remember? Is we, it? Well, we saw a lot of this stuff. Blackfield Manor. Oh yeah. Files the cabin. Well, the other one was like the three families map. Yeah, wasn't it? but now it's the same area, mm. right? But it's different. It's just crazy how time changes, you know what I'm saying? Lazarus first. That jaw. That jaw, My though. Man. Did you add some years to your jaw with that idol? Oh my god. David Gorin. Since his success at the Mermaid Inn, has proven to be resourceful and discreet professional. What? Since his success at the Mermaid Inn, he has proven to be a resourceful and discreet professional. Oh, we're you know just missing a word? Okay. Well, it's, it's like if someone wrote it, and in their mind they're like, I'm writing a description of each person. Mm-hmm. Since got his it. success at the Mermaid Inn has proven to be... Okay, got like it, It's got like, it, got you know, shorthand writing. Yeah, and it's uh, EC. Yeah. Cowardly but dutiful, useful up to a limit. Alistair Cat! Pompous and vain, but being a military man is ready to obey and ready to kill. Ready to kill. Ready to kill. Oh my god, this Wario motherfucker. Greedy and hedonistic. <laughs> Requires constant material motivation to cooperate. Ah! <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Oh my Walter god. Keen. <laughs> Tiny eyes. Ambitious and inventive, but treacherous as many smart people are. Lazarus, you took 32 things from me. Oh, that's my age. I demand you. No, it's not. How old am I? You're 33. What the hell? <laughs> you lost a year. <laughs> I demand you return them. If you refuse, I will make the story of your true origins known to the other party leaders. At 11. Sorry, I, I misspelled in my letter. Let me try again. At half eleven on May 15, meet me at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Come alone and bring proof, something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. Tie your reply to the pigeon and release it from the cage. It will find me. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? Okay, we've investigated everything in that room. Everything's been looked at here. Ooh, oh look God. at your face. <laughs> Damn, she's got like the incredible like flexibility though. She's got a perfectly flat back. Yeah, okay, hold on. Core engaged. Wait, let's... Okay, so she's got like flat. See, you can't curve the spine. You're curving the spine. Wait, what? She's got, let me, let me show you. She's, she's like, like this. this. Perfectly flat back. Like you gotta flatten the back and then bend forward. Like this? Like like this. Like this? She's in like a deadlift position. She's essentially like <laughs> like doing like tricep. <laughs> Core engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my hammies. My hammies are hurting too. I had leg day today. I did a lot of deadlifts and that, that hurt me to do again. <laughs> I'm glad that you put it on webcam mode for that. <laughs> well, I had everyone needed to see the proper form. Yeah. Because she's doing proper form. She's not going to hurt her back like that. This regime has to fall. It has taken everything from me, except for my amazing bodily strength. 12.15. 
1795, May 15th, Capital Root Morning Report. Is this how British people uh, greet each other? Capital Root Morning Report. Oh, Capital Root Morning Report to you. At eight, a newfangled insurrectionist carriage passes by. Damn, things haven't changed. At 8.30, an individual in the insurrectionist uniform passes by on the two, new two-wheel contraption. Things sure haven't changed. At 10.15, two individuals in insurrectionist uniforms pass on horses. A Navaja blade. I respect this woman. She carries a knife with her. It's cock! It is cock. Why are you not working, you worthless piece of garbage? I'm doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merit executions. Oh, it's missing the gem. The it's gem. also like wonky. Or is the gem like broken? Well, the whole thing is like wibble wobbling. I think this is like a fake one. Right? Yeah. I think this is like a melty fake one. He's got his sabre. Well, slightly dented saber. Slightly dented sabre. And if this is dented. Ugh. Interesting. I love, this Kaz is said, like a... Navaja is just blade in Spanish. They have a blade blade. <laughs> yeah! You've seen a blade, blade but have you seen blade. a blade blade? Oh God, this is a mood. Oh, I drew Grendon in this exact pose for Drop Back to Season <laughs> 1. Did. It's Grendon. A man in a helmet with numerous cuts on his body, not breathing. A slightly dented sabre with some blood on it. <laughs> That's my favorite brand of hummus. Oh, see, I I was thinking that it sounded like a, like a, a champagne. Sabre champagne? Yeah. Taste the difference of Sabre champagne. Oh my God, there's so much going on here. Who the hell? Oh, he's a... He's a black hand, two eye, and he's got the two eyes vertically. He's got them on vertically. Where's he gonna put the third one? <laughs> vertically again? Ah! <laughs> What if he puts it b beneath? I mean, but this kind of proves what you were saying, correct? That they can put them in whatever orientation they want? Yeah, that yeah. they don't have to follow the thing. Yeah. Honestly, I feel incredibly vindicated because everybody came for me. Even the comments of that VOD, people were like, I, I was wondering the same thing as Julia. Well, I hope in the comments of this VOD, people offer me their sincere apologies. That people are right, Jacob was right. I, I wasn't even right. I just wasn't wrong. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, I recognize that voice. It is you. Isn't it poetic that you have fallen for the same trap that you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. Who the hell is this? He's a dark hand second. Yeah, double, double eyes. Damn you, you cunning devil. Ah. An empty pistol and a loaded pistol. Damn. You will find me in the place where we two first met. No, oh, romantic. There we can talk. He came in his little Roman helmet. And his little bicycle, and then he got shot. Oh, did he try to shoot someone through the... A newly invented transportation device. Who did he shoot at? A literal straw man. Oh! Scarecrow. So this guy came and tried to blast. kill someone. Yeah. He came to the meeting and tried to blast, and in turn, he got blasted. The pigeon. The message. I admit I may have treated you unjustly after our long cooperation. I will come alone in peace so we can discuss your compensation. Hot diggity dang. What? 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 What did I just do? Oh my god. How do I make you go away? Alright, well that's just there now. Okay, what happens if you click on it? Oh, we go to them. We go to the scenes. Oh, it's all the scenes. Yeah. What the heck? Oh my god. We have access to every scene? Ah! It's sorry, okay. Adam. I'm sorry. I was just joking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> she makes such a serious face. Okay. 
Oh, they're having a good time. That's the horse that was running around in that dude's scene. The horse with the butt plug. Yep. A heavy seal. I have some small but pressing business to attend to at the property of our late brother Sebastian, the previous Proud Beast steward. I will be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned. But he wasn't, was he? Worry not, and continue the feast, wife. Nothing can stand in my way. I will kill our enemies wherever we go. Oh, he's been drinking. Yeah. he have been indulging. Oh, he's and still betting. betting too. He's still betting. Small After song. all this time? Dear husband, you are so brave, and you have been drinking since early this morning. But what would we do now? What if the evil government men find us? It's uh, Cynthia. And yeah. now we know that dancing's probably a crime. Yeah, so you can't be a really cool dancer. Become the pure flower that I know you can be for me. Edmund Cloudsley. Dear Mary, I know where your unworthy mate is hiding you. Soon I will free you from... I. I will. Yep. Soon I will free you from his dirty paws and ship him to colonies. I guess England did have multiple colonies, so it wouldn't be the colonies. While you. While you, I will put. While you, I will put you on a pedestal of sweetness. Sweetest prey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do this math. I can't. The the you you the you you the you you. Whoa. While you, I will put you on a pedestal of sweetest praise, and you will become my ideal wife. That's weird. It's three days after my birthday, but like a hundred, two hundred years before I was born. So it probably has nothing to do with you. Could be. Oh, that's yeah, sick drawing. For you, I would fight a tiger and win. Peter Badley. Mary, my uncle Edmund Cloudsley died in some robbery and I am rich. Now your father will see me for the man that I am. Let's marry. Peter. Mary's getting a lot of proposals. Yeah, she got suitors out the tutors. <laughs> 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 the Tudors was a, a time that was before this. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, the Tudors were like 1500s, I think. 1600s, yeah, something 1500s, like 16? that. Seems, that seems right. That seems right. <clears throat> As a boat. As a boat. Oh, it's oh. this place. Dandelion room, Ada Baker, two nights. Forget me not room, Walter not, two nights. Who's this lady? Do you think that I will try to kidnap the king? Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. You see, again. I think this is Ada. Wasn't she the one who worked for Edmund Cloudsley? Ada. She was like the, one of the servants in the house. Oh, yeah. She was conspiring against him. I have instructed him to arrive at around half eleven. Most likely, he will be in auto party uniform if he comes alone, without any backup outside. Approach him. If he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic, you may proffer him the instruction slip I gave you. Conceal your face. He may recognize you. Because she was the one who was poisoning the tonic. Yeah. But I heard rumors you lost a cannon while gambling. Hand of cards. Three francs. It's the little blade. Nonsense, I am not an idiot. But real men like us could beat those order party ninnies even without any weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those older rats sneaking around here. This is no good. I hope they will just blackmail me and bugger off. A large, large kitchen. kitchen knife. Partially peeled lemon again. This He's... dude's all. He, does he ever finish peeling a lemon? Nah. 
Okay. We got everything. 36 out of 36. Dang. Oh boy. Early in the morning. Blam, 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 blank. I'm like. I don't feel. I'm overwhelmed <laughs> immediately. I don't feel that I know precisely what has gone on here. I'm. What do I know? I'm so overwhelmed. So, at the camp, what's his face has gone missing? Yes. Alistair and James went to go find Lazarus. Have we spotted Lazarus? Well, I suspect he like is in one of these uniforms of these dead men, of these shot men. Might be him. Who's this? This is... Same trap you did all those years ago. And he's a, a dark hand. This building is where he, where Edmund Cloudsley came and holed up. Yeah, with David Gorin. With David Gorin. And then in like this back room was the explosion trap. Yeah, that was where he hid. So who, so who we, premature, me, pre, uh, prematurely shot? Was it that? It was this one. So who here at this building fell for a trap? Was it the guy who's knocked out? That's, that's, David, that's Gorin. David Gorin. Oh. A scarecrow in a wooden coffin. Okay, so is David... Oh, wait. Can we do... Oh, thank God. So, so David Gorin would be who, can you go back to exploring? I just want to look at the information here again. Yeah. What, what's the guy say? The He said you fell for the trap all those years ago. Straw men are your bane. Yeah. So wouldn't that imply that David Gorin is the one who's been shot? That's what I think. That's what would make sense to me. Because he was laying on the straw man in the past, too. Did he usually carry two? I mean, things could have changed. He's, He's got a pistol. one pistol. I guess they all have pistols, huh? Let's do... I suspect that's David Gorin. Okay. Where is he in the scene? Okay, I think you're right. I'm just gonna say you're right. But I don't know, like, timing-wise. Is this early in the morning, or is this the afternoon? Or is this before noon? Okay, we so, need to, wait, like... Wait, 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 wait. I'm waiting. This guy. This guy wanted the golden idol. Yes. So I think he lured what's his face to get the golden idol from him. Cause I think like, you know, wanted to find the golden idol. Right? Or yeah, or. S Fight the dead body. Find the ideal wife. Oh, oh, isn't that what they all want? Instead, they found the ideal wife <laughs> at the camp. Put ideal wife in every gold slot, and I think we'll have it. Okay. We'll have it locked down. Yeah. So, who's um who's this guy again? That's, that's cock. That's cock. Our favorite. 
uh, Alistair Cock went to the cabin to... Did he go to the cabin? He's not at the cabin. Well, then I think he left, didn't he? Well, how do we know he went to the cabin? Well, because I'm assuming that David Gorin or What's-His-Face would have it. We don't know that he went to the cabin. Well... Where is he right now? He's, he, he's, he's here. He's down here? What did this, this lady... So at eight, eight, the bicycle goes by. Yeah. And then at 8.30, or no, at eight, the carriage goes by. At 8.30, yeah. the bicycle goes by. Yeah. And at 10.15, two people on horses go by. 8.15. So the carriage was probably Lazarus in the carriage. Yeah, where is the carriage? I don't know where the carriage is. There's the carriage. Oh, we didn't look at this at all. Oh, why do we have 36 out of 36? Maybe there's just no new words here? Yeah, it doesn't seem... Well, that, that that's what? the carriage. Yeah. So the carriage came to the manor. Oh, because there was that letter that said to at the... To come to the manor? Well, yeah, at where... At the place we first met or whatever? Yeah, where our brother blah, blah, blah. He didn't have it. She didn't have it. What was it? Is it here? Yeah, at half 11 on May 15, meet me at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Where did Willard Wright meet his death? Was that the guy who died? Can we go back to the very first one? This one? Is that Willard Wright? Who are you? We, let's look at the thinking. That's Sebastian Cloudsley. Was Willard Wright the one who was on fire? I think so. Why do I keep doing this? I don't know. James Pear. Willard Wright. Willard Wright is here. Okay, where did Willard Wright die? Because he got the idol here. He must have been in like the next one or something. You skipped one. Oh. Yes. Okay. Ash Blair crept into Willard Wright's room through the trap door. Okay. So Willard he Wright died got with a dagger. So he died in the inn here. Yeah. So th that's where he was asked to to meet. Yeah. It was in the inn. That was where Willard Wright met his death. Something personal to give to the veiled woman. The veiled woman we know is gonna be Ada. Yeah. Who was waiting okay. in the end. Yes. So maybe Clearly he I don't think he ever went there though. I also think that this is wrong. Cause wasn't Ada can we go back to the end? Yeah. The pigeon was still in its thing. Well, no, the pigeon left from here. Oh, a pigeon left from there and it made it to the inn. I believe so. Which is in the town. Mm, On the right. Thank you. Because... Did she have... What's her little card say? Most likely he will be in order party uniform. Have we seen anyone in the order party uniform? Well, isn't that all the dudes with the helmets? Oh, yeah, you're right. I was confusing them with the the, the dark hands, whatever. Yeah, that's system. different. Yeah, yeah. So he was supposed to come here, but did he? Is the question. Well, she doesn't seem to have anything. Unless she, like... Gave well, it, it up already. To, he had to give her. What did he have to give her? Sorry, <laughs> we have to go back again. Give something personal of yours to the veiled woman. So that's going to be the EC handkerchief. Okay, so they has. did. So they did meet up. So they did meet. 
So we're gonna say that's probably early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Lazarus. Well, cause that was like 10 or 11. Cause it was half past 11 they were supposed to meet. And then before noon. Do we think that, let's try in the first one to fill in. Um, early in the morning, Lazarus, let's put his name in. Lazarus Hurst went to the inn to find find Ada what's her fuck we don't have Ada as an option we don't have Ada as an option no Lazarus Hurst, David Gorin, Nicholas Maker Alistair Koch James Turner, Walter Keane Mary who we know is <laughs> alright maybe that's Cynthia. not right then All right, let's go. I think we that's could fill in this one. That's probably before noon, not early in the morning. I think so. Okay. So do we think Lazarus Hurst and David Gorin went out together? And David Gorin went out to try and... Do something. Find whoever sent that letter. Oh, well, hold on. If if instead they found the golden idol at the blank, on the way back they started to fight over it, then maybe it's not Lazarus Hurst and David Gorin. Maybe it's like the other two dudes. Well, so... Oh, wait, no. Um, it's James and Koch went to go find Lazarus Hurst. Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, I think you're right. Because that's what what's his face said. Um, James Turner and, and Alistair. Alistair Koch. Instead, they found the, the golden, golden idol. idol. But where did they find it? At the cabin. At the crossroads. At the manor. I think it's at the manor. All right. Because I think they took the the carriage. Right, right, right. Then to the manor. Okay. Okay, we're making progress now, baby. Um. Well, we can say manor here. Well, we know well, Alistair Koch. No, no one was killed at the manor. Oh. At the cabin. Well, know. we know there's one body at the crossroads. There's one body at the uh, cabin. I don't know where the third body is. Well, there's there's one dude at the crossroads. Yeah. One dude here. There's just like... It's a pile of corpses there, apparently. Na unnamed. No one's dead there. There's a cannon missing. And there was a cannon in the manor. Oh, that's right. That apparently was used to blast all the people that came into the manor. Right. Okay. Go, lady, go. Okay, can we... Just trying to put together... What else? We know that David Gorin is dead. Mm hmm. And he's dead at the cabin. But when did he go to the cabin? Hmm. Ideal wife is going to be one of these. It's got to be. <laughs> um. She got these letters, one from Edmund. Who Ideal wife. 
<laughs> Edmund. Was going by Edmund again? Or that was from years ago. Because it's 1788 now. Right, maybe she just like kept them. But 1795, he was already Lazarus, wasn't he? Well, he like aged himself, didn't he? Whatever. Did he start going by a different name because he like changed well, his he, age? Or he de-aged himself yeah. and became Lazarus before 1795. Like he had faked his death as Edmund Cloudsley. Right. In the explosion. Where does blackmail come in? Is it this? this? I think this is blackmail. This letter? Yeah, is this because if you refuse, I'll make the story of your true origins known to the other party leaders. Okay, so who do we think is trying to blackmail Lazarus? Who did he take 32 things from? Is it 32 years? Like the age thing? Could be. He took 32 years from me. Maybe he like aged someone forward. Is this... Is the dude in like the swamp like an aged? An aged up someone? Yeah. Well, this guy, this person says you've fallen for the same traps you did all those years ago. So he must have been there. This is, this maybe this is a uh, Walter Keene. Because Walter Keene was punished, right? Right. And excommunicated. And he was a part of the black hand. Yeah. So I think that's Walter Keene. Okay, who I Who trapped agree. David Gorin. So I think it's like blackmail. So early in the morning, Walter Keene went to the- Well, no, because he didn't tell him to come to the cabin. So that's not him. Where did he tell him to go? I'm saying the letter said go, to go to the inn. Oh, right. And bring the, and give their proof to the veiled woman. But maybe you're right, maybe. Because Walter Keene does look older if that's him, right? I mean, I think you're right that the 32 things are probably years. Yeah, because he had the, the yeah. statue. So let's take blackmail out. We don't know if that even goes there. And let's think about like other things it could have been. Like, what else could fit? Go look at the merits they lost last time. That's a good idea. Why? To see who lost, like, like was minus 32 on their merits. Mmm. Go to thinking. <laughs> Walter Keene! Walter Keene was minus 32, so we are right about that. Yeah, so it is years. Yes. Okay, well, no, in the afternoon, look at that, had tried to, to get back his blank blank. That's probably his lost years. Oh, ideal years. And then we put Walter Keene on the top. Walter Keene went to the cabin. Went to the to cabin. To kill David Gorin. Because... Um... Had tried to. Oh no, David Gorin went to the cabin. Okay, yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, David yeah, Gorin yeah, went yeah, to the yeah. cabin to kill Walter Keene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Walter Keene uh, had tried to blackmail Lazarus Hurst. Yep, yep, yep. To get back his lost years. Let's go! <laughs> We're putting it together now. Here we go. Good job, Jacob. All right. Great. We're freaking doing it. Okay, so we just have now the top one. So what have we not accounted for? What? 
We have haven't accounted for what happened early in the morning. Well, yes. <laughs> and I'm trying Thank to figure you. out what it could be. I mean, it must be Lazarus Hurst leaving. Right. Because he left early in the morning. Lazarus Hurst he went, went to, to the, the inn. inn. For sure. All right. So let's put Lazarus Hurst went to the inn to... Fa- to kidnap ideal wife ideal wife went to the inn to to blank to to find, find I mean, he must know who's blackmailing him. So is it to find Walter Keene? Maybe. (laughs) The ideal castle. Um, God, what could it be? Because, because Walter Keane wanted to find the golden idol? I don't think Walter Keane wanted to find the golden idol. Well, Well, maybe to get his ears back. his ears back. I don't think this is it. I'm just, no. Well, it's definitely not have ideal body. No, let's, let's try a golden idol in there. Uh, no. Incorrect on all counts. Who's Nicholas Maker again? Well, didn't we have that like... Let's go and look at uh, Lazarus's notebook. Where he had the list of the people. The list of the people. Nicholas sorry. Maker's in there. In M. In, in M. Nicholas Maker. Oh, it's this. It's the lawyer. He's like the lawman. Yeah. Wait, what is it? Can we just read all the other ones in there real quick again? Sure. Okay. What about the Walter Keene one? Is that bottom left? <laughs> okay. Do we think... Do we think the first one is is about like the wife? Like, is it about him going to to get the wife? Because he was like, "I found out where you're hiding her in the letter," oh. or something. But that was from like years ago. Yeah, I don't think so. What if we just for experimentation's sake mm-hmm. go back to thinking and put Lazarus Hurst went to the eyelet to find Mary We don't have another name for her. Yeah, we do. Unless she's a a Batley or a I thought we had her last name. What's her name? Go go find her. I thought she had a name. Did she marry Edmund and she became a Cloudsley? I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. Chat got put in an emote only mode. I think they put themselves in emote only. What do you mean put themselves in it? I don't think they have to. They do. They're in emote only chat. I don't see. It says emote only oh, chat. Oh, I see. Sorry. On this on this one, it doesn't say. It does say. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did ask though, so you were both right. Okay, well, what's this dude's name? That's Peter Batley. So her last name is Batley.
because Lazarus Hurst wanted to have the ideal wife. Oh my God, did we get it immediately? <laughs> Change it to Lazarus Hurst. It's close now. What's did he... wrong? Oh, wait. Oh. Maybe it wasn't the eyelet? Well, you need to change kidnap back to find. We're, we're close. We're so close. What if we go kidnap and then find? No. Th I mean, this information must be out here somewhere, right? <sighs> You've been drinking since early this morning. So, so have they been here at the islet? What's on the horse again? The horse has the stamp. This is Lazarus's horse. Mm -hmm. At the property of our late brother Sebastian. So Lazarus's horse is here. At the islet. Correct. But he was going to the manor. Where a bunch of people got cannoned. We're so freaking close. I just don't like how they want me to phrase it. So did he did he go to the manor? To the um the castle, I mean? Well, castle's in there. Went to the castle to find. I think find was just in there. I just changed it. I mean, find for kidnap. Went to the castle. Is her name not Mary Bally? They're married, aren't Early they? Early in the morning, Lazarus Hurst went to the blank to find Mary Valley because Lazarus Hurst... That's awkward. Yeah. But I don't know how else to phrase it. Because... There's an ad break happening. We're in the middle of an ad break. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I didn't we're in the think middle I was of an right. ad break. I know we're in the middle of an ad break. Don't solve it while we're on an ad break. I don't think I'm going to solve it. We still I'm have sorry. this thing anyway. I'm sorry. I messed up the ad thing again. I keep getting too engrossed. I need like a auditory cue of some kind to let me know. Stop changing things. <laughs> we still have all these to fill in. We have 30 seconds left of the ad break. We've already fucked off through most of it. <laughs> Least we could do is not do stuff through the rest of it. Do we think it's Peter Badley? Peter Badley wanted to have the ideal wife, but which is ideal, why he has him. Ideal wife was the exact phrasing that Lazarus Hurst used in his letter. So did someone else go to the islet on his behalf? But his horse is there. His horse is at the islet. Motherfucker went to the islet. Or at least his horse did. He left to go there. When we put Lazarus, put Lazarus Hurst back in, in the, in the last spot there. When we put that in, it says two or less slots are incorrect. Now it's not proper anymore. So that means it's definitely Lazarus it's Hurst. It's Lazarus Hurst and Lazarus Hurst. Because when you change it, 
It's not Lazarus. It's, it, gets, it gets bad. Well, this might not be Lazarus Hurst. No, it is. Change it. Oh. What? That's so awkward. Say it twice. So we're, there's just something we're doing wrong. Is it... Come on. <laughs> is it... Draz is saying, yeah, the wording is weird. I mean, there's only so many words it can be, right? Okay, wait. I got it. Okay. Early in the morning, Lazarus Hurst went to the islet, put that back, we know it's correct, mm -hmm. to fight Peter Batley. Uh Motherfucker! Oh, I thought I thought you had it. Alright, well we know that's Mary now. So please put Mary back. <laughs> please put Mary back. I really thought that was going to be it. <laughs> You're not helpful. Oh. It was already like that, Julia. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, but when I changed it, it said that more were wrong. So find is correct. Find is correct. Yes. Okay. So what is this other one? Yeah, what are we missing here? Fight, blackmail, kill. Is her name not Mary Batley? Is it? Okay, that makes it bad again. So it is Batley. This is fucking unbearable. I can't. <laughs> When you, okay, stop, <laughs> change the have again uh -huh. to something wrong. Now change Batley. Change kidnap to something like really stupid, like obviously wrong, like fight. Now put in Batley. So Batley is correct. Uh-huh. No, we tried it's that. It's definitely Mary Batley. Yes. 100% it's Mary Batley. And that's Lazarus Hurst. We know that already. Is it not ideal wife? It's got to be ideal wife. It is. It's definitely ideal wife. It's ideal wife. I think it's have the ideal wife. Like, I think it's gotta be have the ideal wife. And we've tried every location mm -hmm. with this. Mm -hmm. Jamie, I will take the hint. But I'm gonna be so mad. We're gonna be mad either way. Whether we get it on our own or not. I'm gonna be so mad. Jamie, please save us. What is the hint? Give us the What's hint. What's the hint? Fucking god damn End it. End me. Kill me. Put me in the grave. The blue words are the same. No! Is it find, find? It's find, find. It's find, find. What? It's not. It's, it's blackmail, it's, blackmail. It's have, have? You tried have, have. It's not the islet? Okay, it's find, find. In the castle. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Wait. Manor, god damn it! I didn't see Manor! I always fall into the same I trap. I didn't see Manor. Where the second it's in here, I don't see it this anymore. This motherfucking shit. The ah! second I put it up there, I lose track of it. Come on, man. I didn't know Manor was 
an option anymore. Oh, God. I'm sorry, everyone. The <laughs> second it, it it's no longer in the word bank, it leaves my brain. Okay, I will say I agree with the assessment that the wording find find is fucked up. Yeah. It should have been find have. Well, also, Lazarus hers, Lazarus hers is clumsy. That's clumsy, but they've been doing stuff like that. True. To like try and trick you. But find find. Yeah. Does it accept? Wait. It can be find have. The game accepts both. Okay. So find have would have worked. We just never tried manner we because manner was manor here. I didn't see it. Yeah. I'm with you. I also didn't see it. It accepts kidnap have too. All right. I take it back. The game allowed for a lot of word options. We we just didn't see. Oh, God. We just didn't see the location. I kept thinking it wasn't a castle, but I, that was the closest I could get to where what I was thinking of. <sighs> I'm so sad. I'm so tired. It's one of those things where it's like when you when you have like the spirit of the answer there. Yeah. Good lord. I don't think Alistair Cock killed someone at the manor. Well, I'm thinking about there's, there's he killed someone at the crossroads. Oh, yes, crossroads, thank you. So did did Peter Batley kill Lazarus Hurst at the islet? He did say I will kill any man. Well, we know his horse is there. We can't find a body. So he has a sword. It's I, not bloody. Let's try it. He has a bloody sword. Let's try it. What? Which one? That Peter Batley killed Lazarus Hurst. At the eyelid. Oh. Two or less slots are incorrect. I'm gonna freaking. I'm gonna freaking go bazinga up in here. <laughs> Maybe he killed him at the manor. Oh! We, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. It didn't happen again. Oh! Oh. Before storming the king's castle with the order party, Lazarus Hurst led his men to Sebastian Cloudsley's old manor in order to kidnap his long lost love, Mary Batley, nay Richards. So that was her name. Okay. Who was hiding there with her husband, Peter Batley. Upon entering the manor, Lazarus and his troops were confronted by a drunk Peter and the cannon he had won while gambling. Peter blew up Lazarus, breaking the idol, and then fled the scene with Mary. So that's why the idol's all fucked up. Yes. Okay. I love this face. All right. That's a really good face. Oh! Oh, nice. Down with Hell virtues. Yeah. Hey, weren't you with the order party? Oh, no, no. I was never part of that ghastly organization. We, oui, I can take this gilded brass trinket for scrap metal. You can have three soul for it and call yourself lucky. <laughs> Wait, so who was that guy? The... <laughs> who was that French guy? I think he was just a pawn dude. But why would he be the last thing you see in the game? Because the guy couldn't get anything for this golden idol that everyone's been killing each other over. Oh, you're right. You're right. After the credits, it's a short bonus case. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Good to know. Fox Hambly! Fox Hambly. Oh my god. This game was great. Mm -hmm. This is a great game. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It's super, super good. Super unique. This, I want more of this type of game. Yes, more. 
More Obradin likes, please. Another. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the name Fox Hambly. I do feel like it. It really makes me remember that Obradin is one of the best games like ever made. Yeah. And that, it's so unique. And that this game is really great because it makes me feel like I felt when I played Obra Dinn. Yeah. And I also just love the art and the the whole vibe of this game is really fun. It's so good. All right, let's do the bonus. Epilogue, the grand vision of a better world. Oh, it's the, um, the dude's wall. That's fun. Oh, my God. That's Walter Keane. And David Gorin and Edmund witness the power of the idol in my hands and swear loyalty to Lazarus Hurst. We will build the ideal society. So is this back like before? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. The, Cause he's like, you know, alive. just hiring David <laughs> Gorin and alive. Yeah. The Brotherhood of Masks. Only one thing is worse than imbeciles. Imbeciles with power. The rich and noble have a social club with mystical rituals and other hogwash and are so stupid that they did not realize when they had some truly miraculous technology in their hands. However, they are influential and persistent and have already caused a great deal of harm to me and my goals. Walter Keane has told me more about their organization and practices. If he tells the truth and they are truly devoted to their religious entity of Griffin Reborn, I could gain some powerful allies for my next move. Okay. So this is when he was planning to become the Griffin Reborn. Yeah. Order party manifesto. All citizens are equal. All citizens must serve society to the full extent of their abilities. Citizens must be evaluated according to how virtuous they are. A society with internal contradictions is unsustainable. Therefore, it must be led by the most virtuous citizen. The king should step down. The aristocracy must be abolished. The more virtuous citizens are better able to serve society. Therefore, virtuous citizens deserve to gain more time on this earth and bad citizens deserve to lose time. Wow, damn, okay. <laughs> this is unbelievable. My pure Mary is joined in matrimony with that clown, Peter Batley. She must have done it out of grief from my death. Such a hasty decision goes against every principle of virtue. Therefore, I consider the marriage null and void. <laughs> She will come to me once she learns I still live. But for now, my duties in the service of humanity take precedence. Damn, okay. Society must be built on the principles of virtue. Only thus can it become truly great. Look at the Lemurians. Thousands of years ago, they had an empire on the banks of the seven seas. Their ancient technology continues to baffle modern science. But they became inert and decadent and forgot how to build and operate their machines. Their empire crumbled because it was built on pleasure seeking, not virtue. It is by divine providence that I got my hands on a working ancient Lemurian artifact, the Golden Idol. I will use its powers to set humanity on the right path by building the ideal state. Okay. What you got going on? I swear it. Yes, with these powers, I will do whatever is necessary to build a better world. There's the eyes, the Brotherhood of Masks. And their ranks, I guess. Yes, my lord. I swear loyalty to you and will undertake whatever tasks are required of me. You certainly did. David. Thank you. I thank you for dealing <laughs> thank with... Thank you for dealing... With all the <laughs> challenges relating to my <laughs> death and for keeping an eye on our new ally. I do feel I have impressed him, not only with the Golden Idol, but also with my vision of an ideal society. Come to our hideout. <laughs> Come to our hideout on November 24th. We are ready for the next step, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Kissing. XOXO. Oh my God. Damn. You okay, dude? Donate to a veteran who lost his leg in the noble defense of his homeland. Who the hell is this? The man is not breathing. Half empty bottle of gin. Did they kill this man? Oh, I think he showed, like, the power of the idol. Oh, on that guy. By making him a thousand years old. I think you're right. Wow, that sucks. It's pretty virtuous. All right, holy shit. So this is, like, the whole story. I guess. Okay. So, blank, blank, wasn't it Sebastian Cloudsley? 
Sebastian. The, the original guy. Cloudsley. Left the idol. Left the idol. To the, the brotherhood. Brotherhood in his will, but then um Peter Peter Batley, not Peter Batley. The who's the lawyer? I always forget his name. James Nicholas Maker? Nick Nicholas Maker? Well, this is who stole it. Oh. It okay. was um Ash. Catch him. Um wasn't it Ash Blair who stabbed? The person who was stabbed was Willard Wright. So accidentally stabbed Willard Wright. Stole the idol. Accidentally stabbed. Um. Was it, was it David Gorin? Who stole the idol on Edmund Cloudsley's orders? Well, cause here's the... Oh, Ash Blair was the tobacco person. This is, this is, Willard Wright has it here. Yeah. And then when we go forward, Willard Wright has been stabbed. Yes. And it was... But who took it? I think it was David Gorin. Okay. So David Gorin, David Gorin on, on Edmund Cloudsley's orders. David Gorin on Edmund Cloudsley's orders. Stole the idol, accidentally stabbed Willard Wright. The Brotherhood tasked um, Walter Keane. Well. Walter Keen to punish Edmund Cloudsley and recover the idol. Let's go. Beautiful. That was all you. During one attempt, Walter Keen was captured and Edmund Cloudsley convinced him to join his side. Edmund Cloudsley. Yeah. <clears throat> used the idol to make himself young. Used the idol to make himself young. And infiltrated the Brotherhood. Oh my God. Under the new identity of Lazarus yes. Hurst. Hurst? Then he claimed to be the Griffin Reborn and transformed the Brotherhood into the order party. Oops. Wait, the transform, brother, the, transform brother. the brotherhood. the brotherhood into the order party. Wasn't it the word bank? Brotherhood masters. Uh, that's gonna be Alistair, Alistair Cock, Cock and, and James Turner. Helped Lazarus Hurst seize power in the country and enforce the rule of virtues by taking youth away from the common people. Left, bottom left of the screen. Oh, thank you. And giving it to the order party members. Right before the final showdown with the uncooperative king, uh, Alistair Hurst, I mean, Lazarus Hurst. Lazarus Hurst. Hurst. Wanted to kidnap Mary, Mary Batley, who was shot by Peter Batley, and the idol was broken. Yay! Yay, 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 yay! Wow, we did it! And it's almost, it's almost end of stream. We're a little early, but not enough time to play something else. <laughs> Here's all think. over the places. I was like this. You were, you were thinking <laughs> so hard. Oh my God. That was great. That was super good. Love that game. That's probably one of my favorites of the year. I would say. Hi, Joy. Yeah, that was super good. I, it's such a shame that I'm so bad at names.
because yeah. that was a name heavy game joy that's what i'm here for yeah i can and remember you, the names you did great after a bit i can remember the names yeah you did awesome names are just words for specific people and i'm bad at remembering words <laughs> names are just words <laughs> it's one of those things that taken on its own sounds like the most obvious statement you've ever said <laughs> listen everyone names are just words for specific people they are though what's the big deal they're just words and i'm so bad at learning languages joy joy <sighs> joy 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 did we want to do something short or did we want to just call it I think I'd like to just end early. Okay. Honestly. Any of our friends uh, streaming right now? Let's see, let's check. As a reminder, Jacob and I will be streaming on Wednesday. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Joy's here also. Good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. Yeah. We will be streaming on Wednesday, but we will not be streaming the following Sunday and Wednesday. Drawfee will be back tomorrow. Come here. And we're streaming tomorrow night. Yeah. On Drawfee. On Drawfee. We'll be here in, in person streaming. And it'll be fun. I bet. Ready? <laughs> Joy doesn't look as troubled as Olive. Nah, Joy's like, yeah, whatever. I know what they're doing. Uh, okay. I don't really have anyone to raid. All right. Are we done, so? I think we'll just call it. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Glad we finished this up. Yeah. Which means when once we're back from our trip, Julia will have a new game to play on Sundays. That's true. Whatever that may be. Will it be Kentucky Root? I don't know. Could be. I we'll feel guilty every time I stream it. That uh, you, uh, you uh, it just doesn't what, do. Why don't we just good do numbies. like we said? We'll just do some bonus streams in okay. December. Yeah. When we're on our like you know break from working on Droppy stuff. Yeah. We'll do some bonus streams and play some other games. Droppy is play. doing a little vacation at the end of December, holiday vacation. So. Uh, okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thanks everybody. Goodbye. Bye.